Hey, what is up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Today I want to start a short series on Reveal.js, which is an HTML presentation framework that allows you to create presentations for the web. You can run these uh, fully responsive uh, presentations on any device with a web browser, like a phone or a tablet or a computer or even like a smart TV. And so you can run them anywhere you can run uh, the, the web. Uh, now, it's open source. It's really easy to get started. There's a bunch of cool features like you can write fully in Markdown. You can add your own custom backgrounds, your own CSS for everything. Uh, but it's also really easy to get started with as well if you want to just keep it real basic. So what I'm going to do is just in, over the series of several shorter videos, which I haven't done before on this channel, nor have I done a framework before. So we're going to just do it all at once. All right. Um, so we're going to do several of these shorter videos, but I hope it's a help to you as you kind of get started. Okay, so in this first video, I'm just going to show you how to install it, get a project up and running, and then in the subsequent videos, I'll show you how to customize it, make it your own, and uh, and play with it. Of course, you can always look at the documentation, and I think their documentation is great and really easy to follow. I'll add a link in the description to make sure you can follow them as well. They even have a full video course if you want to get training from the person who created this uh, open source framework, um, or they have a GUI editor if you'd rather use that. And uh, there is a paid tier and a free tier and all that kind of stuff. And again, I'll include all links for those in the description below. Okay, enough talking. Let's jump right in. Okay, so you can see here on Reveal.js's website, they actually have a little presentation up top. It tells you what you can do and then gives you all these examples. You'll see that there's vertical slides you, you can include, and those, these are actually really easy to do. You'll see this progress bar too that's actually clickable. You can click and jump around here as well. Uh, this is that GUI editor if you want to look at that rather than building this out yourself. They even have code hi highlighting, all kinds of animations. They have auto animations. Um, you can see it highlighting here as well. You've got zooming. You've got this auto animating. I showed you that just a second ago. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. Make it touch optimized for smart uh, phones, all that kind of stuff. Write everything in Markdown. Uh, all right, let's not show you too much. Let me actually work through some of this with you. So let's jump down to the installation section. And all we're going to do, they they give you three options, a basic setup, full setup, or you can install from NPM. I'm going to do the full setup here just to kind of show you, uh, you know, the maximum you could do here. And uh, hopefully that will be helpful to you. Uh, first of all, you do need Node.js 10 or later, and you can just open it from this link. You just download it like any other program on your machine, install it, and then you're good to go. That installs both Node uh, and NPM, and so you should be set. Once you've done that, go ahead and navigate to a folder either in your terminal or like I've just got this built-in terminal here in VS Code. I'm opened to a folder and I'm just going to clone it here. This might take just a little bit to clone, so I'll be right back with you. All right, that didn't take too long, but uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and CD into that folder that we just created, that we just cloned, that reveal.js folder. And then we're going to also run the command npm install, which will install all the dependencies we need to run kind of this basic setup. So I'm going to copy that entire thing, come in here, paste, and this might take a minute or two, so let me be back with you in just a second. All right, that finished up here in about a minute and a half, I think. Uh, the next thing we'll do, and the final thing we'll do, is we're going to go ahead and start the local server. So when you install it like this, it actually has its own server. And so you'll just hit npm and start, and then that will run um, the gulp script and everything else uh, ready for you. And it'll run it on part, port 8000. You can come in here and click like this, uh, or you could uh, open it by clicking this as well. So we'll come in here, and you can see already I've got a bunch of cool stuff, as in one two slides. <laughs> All right, uh, let's jump into the folder and then I'll show you um, kind of how to manipulate it real quickly. All right, it may look like nothing changed, but I went ahead and opened the folder and then restarted the server here. Let me show you what's in here. So this is why it takes so long. It adds a bunch of CSS in here. It adds a distribution folder, examples, a bunch of JavaScript things that some of which you can remove. We can talk about that later. Uh, some plugins that it's using already, um, a test folder with a bunch of examples here. And then um, it's got a demo, but what we're interested in and this is this index.html page. This is the actual slide deck already that we've got up and running. You'll notice here I've got slide one and slide two, and that corresponds to these right here. I can either use my keyboard uh, arrows or click those arrows in the bottom right hand corner, and it will just slide right along. Um, and it's pretty easy to add extra ones, so I can come in here and say slide uh, three. And if I refresh here, jump over, Slide one, slide two, and slide three. 
Next time we're going to look at just how you structure the actual markup, and so that will be video two. All right, I will catch you in that one. Thanks so much for watching, and happy coding.